I'm Lawrence Gold, developer of the program, and in the next few minutes of this section, I'll give you an overview of the program. And in the section to follow, I'll explain how to use the program. If you have questions during practice of the program, return to these two introductions for answers first. Most people who have sacroiliac joint dysfunction have, at some earlier time in their life, experienced a hard fall, such as from a bicycle, or a horse, or a ladder, or from a roof. Or they may have experienced getting clobbered hard in an athletic event and landing hard. You get the general idea. It might not have been exactly one of those, but it involves a hard fall. That kind of hard fall is sufficient to displace the sacrum, and from that point on, even if you're sub-symptomatic, changes of movement and muscular tension ensue that can lead either to an, an intensification of the symptoms later or to persistence of those symptoms despite therapy. So this program is a good resort for people who have had unsuccessful therapy for sacroiliac joint dysfunction, basically because standard therapies don't address the underlying condition that causes the condition to persist. I had a bad case of sacroiliac joint dysfunction with the following symptoms. Lightning-like shooting pains through my pelvis, pain at the low back on one side, right above the sacroiliac joint, radiating pain deep into one hip joint, burning and numbness down the front and side of the opposite side thigh, sciatica-like symptoms that went down one leg, felt mostly behind the knee, and in the calf, felt like a cramp, but it wasn't a muscle cramp. It was referred pain from the twisted sacrum. A sensation like a tight wire going down my low back into my pelvis. Restricted ability to bend forward so I couldn't put on socks without unusual contortions. Groin pain. Deep burning pain on one side of the pelvis along the inside of one hip bone. Pain in a certain region of my ribs on one side. And tension in my neck that felt like my head was being jammed onto the topmost vertebra. All of these symptoms came from the single thing, the twisted sacrum. And apart from the pain right above the SI joint, the others were either muscular contractions triggered automatically by the sensation of a twisted sacrum or radiating pain. Altogether, the symptoms were so intense that at times I felt nauseous. And I found sitting in a car seat to be an ordeal. All of these resolved as my sacrum straightened out. Now let me say something about the structure of this program. It consists of four basic sections. The first section is introductory material of which this present segment is a part. The next section consists of preparatory exercises including how to assess or evaluate the position of your own sacrum, and you must be able to do that in order to choose which side you do certain exercises. It does make a difference, particularly because the sacrum changes position several times as you go through the regimen as muscular forces change and weight-bearing forces that converge at the sacrum change. The next section consists of reorganization exercises, exercises that change your coordination, that induce your sacrum to straighten as a result of muscular and weight-bearing forces that converge there. And the last section consists of 
polishing and consolidating exercises, exercises that reinforce the changes that you've generated in the previous section. And just an aside, if you get to this unit three material, this consolidation material, and certain symptoms resurface, you simply go back to the second unit of exercises, do cleanup, and then return to the third unit. Each exercise section has an introduction that tells you the expected outcome of that session and how many practice days to do that section. You'll be going through this uh, exercise series in a forward direction, sections A through F and backwards, F through A, repeatedly. And each time you do a section, you get a certain amount of change, at which point you switch to the next section so that you produce proportional amounts of changes through all of the sections. The reason being, if you were to do too much of one exercise, you would get ahead of the amount of change the other exercises produced. And the dominant pattern of posture and tension that you have will cause you to backslide on the section for which you did too much. It's necessary to get a proportional amount of change through all of the different exercise sections and go through them repeatedly so that you accumulate changes in basically a balanced manner. Now, some people, as they go through this program, may doubt that they're doing the exercises correctly. Or they may start experiencing physical sensations that they may think signify they did something wrong. And for that eventuality, I have made personal coaching available. And you may obtain that coaching by sending email to the email address shown at the bottom of the screen. There are several coaching options available, which you see described on the coaching page. And you'll receive a link to that page when you send email to the email address shown.